Hello, so today we're talking about a book called The Adventures of Marcus Moldwarp by Jennifer Jones. Are you joining us or not? We're coming then. Um, and it, it was lovely, we liked it very much. There were more adventures in the book. It's, it's a fabulous book and at the back there's lots of facts about moles and facts about worms. We've, we've done lots of learning. Um, the book, that, the first story we read was quite an interesting one and quite topical as it happened because what happened to Farmer Tilly's field? Uh, so what? There was lots of rain yeah. and it made the field into a pond. It flooded, didn't it, like our garden has. So it was a book that we could relate to because our grass has all been flooded, hasn't it? So, so Marcus Moldwarp and his friend, can anyone remember what his friend was called? Uh, Wiggle. Called Wriggly, that's right. Quiggly Wriggly, who's a worm. Uh, and why, worms and wor um, moles aren't normally friends, are they? Yes. That was a moles bit unusual. Eat worms. Right? Because moles really eat worms. We did really like it, didn't we? How did the worms and the moles help the farmer? Because she was very sad, wasn't she? Uh, from digging yeah. holes, from digging holes, and making all the water go into the holes to the seaside. <laughs> the water went to the seaside. Yeah, that's right. They dug tunnels, didn't they? Yes. And they were super helpful, and they called all their mole and worm friends to help them. Yeah. Uh, but did it work? Did they save the field? Yes. Yeah. yeah and that? the worm was a really weird worm because it was mainly stripy. It was a stripy worm. I think perhaps he had a jumper on. Oh. It's probably cold down there. I don't know. The illustrations yeah. are fabulous. We love but the illustrations. And we haven't read the other story, but there's another story we're very interested in. What is the one you really want to read? There was one that had a dragon crying. It had a dragon, and, yeah. And it was so cute. It and was. I have to read that one in the morning. We're going to read that one in the morning. That's right, because it is, in fact, bedtime now. And there was another story as well. There was so one... So I can finish my dream. There was one on the moon, wasn't there? Yes, one to the moon. So we've got so much more to explore in this book. It's fabulous. Um, I did, I did um, for this age, I did um, paraphrase a little bit. They're quite long. Um, but I, I know that um, if Biggest Sister was reading to them, then that would work very well, I think. Um, the illustrations are just beautiful and the stories are really fun. Um, we can't wait to read the rest. So it's a big th a thumbs up, do we think? Adventures of Marcus. Where are you and yours up? You enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah, so put your thumbs up then, you know. Mm. Okay. Mom, what one is this one? Okay. One of mine is <laughs> It's up. bedtime for everybody. Down, um, and up. down and up. Ooh, gosh. Daddy, that means middle. I'm, middle. I didn't want. I didn't like the story. You didn't like it. What was wrong with it? You just said you did like it. What didn't you like? The mold making all the water disappear. But that was a good thing. They helped the farmer, didn't they? But they made me sad. Oh, it made you sad? Why did it make you sad? Because I like the seaside. Oh, yeah, it's not this not the seaside isn't going to be flooded with mud or anything. The seaside's mm. totally okay. Mm. Don't worry. Can we the do it again? Happy. It's good, I like it. <laughs> good. Okay then, let's say mm. bye bye and we'll do another one tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.